If there's no such thing as a free lunch, how can there be free TV? Special care self Katie Barrett is about to explain here on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. And Katie Barrett joins us now from All Things Digital in Washington. Thanks for being there, Katie. Hey, Simon. So we, we all know the economists say there's no free lunch, but you've actually found a sort of free TV viewing, video viewing platform. What's the quid pro quo? Yes, so this is company is called Hit Bliss. This is a new method of giving you free content. Instead of having to watch ads that are interspersed with your free videos, you have to do a little work beforehand. So you go into a section on the program called Hit Bliss Earn, and there you watch ads according to what you want to see. So say you're really into travel or fitness, you could watch ads related to those topics. And once you've watched the ads, you uh, get points, trust points from the company, and that helps you accrue money that you can go back into the store of Hit Bliss with and use that to buy TV shows or movies. Uh, but of course, like most of us, when we're watching ads, we don't pay attention very well. And the company knows that, and they want to make sure you're paying attention. So they pop up these little prompts on the screen that you have to click on right when you see them as you're watching the ad, so that the advertising partners know that they have your eyeballs and they know you're really paying attention. You're not leaving the room. Uh, if you mute the player, it turns off automatically. If you open up a different window to say email or browse the web, it it will automatically turn off too. So they really kind of know how to keep your attention here. Okay, and you, you can only get a certain, you can only earn a certain maximum amount in a day and then watch and then spend that quote money, right? Correct. Uh, you can only make uh, or only buy up to seven titles a day. That can be a combination of TV and movies. But yes, that's your limit. So say you wanted to sit down and binge watch 24 seasons of uh, Downton Abbey, for example, you couldn't do that. You'd have to start paying after the eighth episode. But for most people, seven free videos in a day is not a bad deal. Now, how does this compare with something like a Hulu uh, where, you know, it, it's free? I mean, a lot of people use Hulu. I mean, it comes out a few days, yeah. you know, or a day after when, you know, it would be on TV. But, you know, you have a couple of ads there just like you would do on TV. Right, so this has a lot of current content. Their TV shows that they do have are all out right after, the day after the show airs on TV, which is a nice feature. And movies are also current, but they certainly don't have the kind of catalog that an iTunes from Apple or Amazon Instant Video has. And that's pretty natural for a company that's just starting out. They have to work on these relationships with partner companies and build up those relationships. But the catalog now might be satisfying for some people so it's all up to what you like watching and uh, whether or not you'll find what you like but a Hulu for example that you just mentioned those those free videos will pop up ads in between the programming and what a lot of people do including me is they mute the, the screen they do email in the background they leave the room and make themselves a sandwich and uh, often they're seeing videos for ads that they don't really care about. They might be seeing a car ad and they just bought a new car a few months ago or something that has nothing to do with them. So here you can actually see ads that are a little bit more curtailed to you. So, so, so Katie, um, weighing it up, right? You, you've got like Netflix um, streaming for less than $10 a month and this and you really have to work at it. Which is better for you? Uh, well, Netflix doesn't have the kind of catalog that a lot of people are looking for. They don't have the current content. Mm. I think that can be frustrating for people. So, um, you know, obviously I like to use a mix of different services. I don't just commit myself to one service. I use iTunes for some things and Netflix for other things and uh, my regular TiVo at home where I record things for watching other content. But I think this could be a nice supplement for people if they go on and they search for a program or a movie and they find it here they might be willing to watch a few ads to watch it for free great stuff well free is a very good price isn't it thank you thank you very much katie barrett <laughs> thanks simon that's katie barrett's column you can read it on wsj.com i'm simon constable and that's it that's digits for now